I am a 19 year old male and this happened many years ago when I was very young. To give you an idea of the layout of our house back then, the living room has multiple windows that directly look out onto the back garden. There's a big gate in our driveway to stop anyone from getting in. Next to the living room is the kitchen, which also has more windows, but also the back door. This will be relevant to the story. So my mother was completing the household chores as she does one day. I was sitting in the living room watching television on the sofa with my back to the living room windows. All of a sudden, I saw a figure reflecting off of the picture frame hanging on the wall opposite the window. I asked my mom if my dad was back from work, to which she said no. I'll never ever forget the look of horror on her face when I told her that yes he was, he's in the garden. She looked outside the window and almost had a heart attack when she saw a scruffy looking but fairly built man outside the living room window. This didn't seem to faze him at all though. He psychotically smiled at my mother through the glass and my mom asked him what he was doing on our property. He said nothing with the same sadistic smirk on his face. She said that she was gonna call the police and what he said is one of the scariest things I've ever heard. He screamed at my mother through the glass that if she even got her phone out, that he would break the glass. She did not know what to do. She paused and tried to rapidly think of what to do next, how to keep us both safe. She wanted to protect me by calling the police, but she also didn't want him to hurt me if she did try to call them. As soon as he saw that she was terrified, he ran for the back door. Luckily, it was locked because my mom has always been a paranoid person, so she always locks the doors. He screamed at her to let him in, or if she didn't, he'd find a way in and kill us both. My mother told him to fuck off, which enraged him, and he pulled out a pocket knife and began bashing hard against the windows. I was still oblivious to what was happening as I just thought it was my dad. I was very young. My mom frantically grabbed me, and I don't mean picked me up. She literally grabbed me off the sofa and booked it up the stairs. We were backing up in the upstairs hallway looking for anywhere to hide when my mom's younger brother popped out of his room with his head headphones on. My mom didn't even realize he was home and he clearly didn't hear the commotion downstairs because of his headphones. My uncle was 25 at the time and was really well built. He's intimidated a lot of people. My mom cried and told him that there's a guy who's trying to break in. While she's telling him this, that creepy lunatic screamed from downstairs that he was in the house. He said cynically, Boogeyman is coming out to get you, which really freaked me out. It freaked me out so much that I actually remember that to this day. Anyway. Since the guy didn't know my uncle was home, he kept yelling and telling us to come out and that it wouldn't be painful. My uncle told us to lock ourselves in the bathroom and call the police. We did, and after five minutes of groaning and blatant violence downstairs, the police stormed in and found the guy bloodied and my uncle on top of him, beating him mercilessly. My uncle really didn't hold back. Turns out that he was a known pedophile which is why he was watching me for so long while I was watching TV. After that day, my mom was terrified to be home alone at the house. I loved it as a child because I found the running and hiding fun, obviously because I was young. I can never thank my uncle enough for being there at the right time when my mother clearly forgot that he was still home. It honestly gives me chills, wondering what he would have done to my mother and myself if my uncle was not there.
scary facts you didn't know about. If you walk into a room and then forget why you walked in, it's because you walked through a doorway. And in your mind it created an event boundary like the start of a new scene. Scary stalkers caught on camera. This 2018 footage shows a woman setting up a security camera after hearing weird sounds outside of her bedroom window. The recording shows a man she had never seen before walking up to her bedroom window and try to look inside. After a few seconds, the man would notice the camera and quickly walk away but shortly after, he would return and steal the camera. The woman believes this man that she caught on camera had been looking into her bedroom window for at least three weeks. Followed my neighbor to the mystery party and am now in the woods following a guy in a hazmat suit. Okay, arrows. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. My new neighbor texted me, you gotta come to this party, I can't tell you anything about it, but I promise it's like something you've never experienced before, and it's outside. So I was like, okay, it's either gonna be pumpkin carving or like eyes wide shut, don't know. Okay, cool, what's the address? She was like, you can follow me. Yeah, that sounds good, we should do that. And my partner is wearing contact lenses for like the second time. And they realize halfway through the drive, which has been like 20 minutes, that they can't really see. We get to the party. First thing we see is a guy in a high priest sort of devil costume. And he's like, I got to splash you with this holy water. Second thing that happens is I get a snack because it's an outdoor party and there is a tent um, with like some hot apple cider. And it was delicious. I meet the host. I'm like, hey. My new neighbor brought us, and she says this is going to be like unlike anything we've ever experienced, and she couldn't tell us anything else. And the host was like, good, she did exactly what she was supposed to. This is just going to be a normal party where nothing weird will happen. Third thing that happened, there's a four-year-old dressed like Pennywise. That's unrelated to the story, but just thought you would want to know. It's like an hour into the party, and all of a sudden, like, half the attendees' phones go off. I don't know how they did this. There's a voicemail. The voicemail says that it is from the police department and that they're looking for a six-foot white male last seen on this road that this party was on. Then there's a text that comes through, and the text says it's from the town. I don't know how they did this. It's the same thing. And another hour goes by. Gotta make a part three, sorry. 